As part of business planning, every company wants to set targets for itself in terms of the target income they would like to achieve in the coming years. For example, companies set targets like by the year 2020, they want to become a hundred billion dollar company. So once they set those targets, they have to ask questions like how many units must be sold to earn an operating income of X dollars. So this X is derived out of the target that they have set. Let's say they said, you know, okay, we want to become a hundred billion dollar company. So then they reduce the expenses and come up with a target operating income. And then in order to achieve this target operating income, they want to find out how many units should they sell. Now we know that in simple terms, profit is equal to the selling price minus the cost price. And in other terms, the operating income is equal to the total revenue minus the total cost. Now what is total revenue? So the total revenue is the total number of units sold multiplied by the unit selling price minus the total cost which is fixed cost plus the variable cost and this is equal to number of units sold multiplied by the unit selling price minus fixed cost plus the variable cost and variable cost is nothing but the total number of units sold multiplied by the unit variable cost. So now if we have a target operating income that we are targeting Then using this formula, we can find out the number of units that need to be sold in order to achieve this target operating income. So let's find out the formula for this. So let's use TOI as short form for this target operating income is equal to Q multiplied by P minus F minus. So we are opening the bracket here and minus plus is minus. Q multiplied by C. So here Q is the variable. So let's bring all the terms with Q on one side and all the remaining on the other side. So Q multiplied by P minus Q multiplied by C is equal to target operating income plus fixed cost. So we are taking this on the other side or we can take Q as common. So P minus C is equal to target operating income plus the fixed cost or the number of units is equal to target operating income plus fixed cost divided by P minus C. So this gives the answer how many units must be sold to earn an operating income of X dollars. So this TOI target operating income can be replaced by X and then you can get the number of units that need to be sold. So this formula answers the question, how many units need to be sold to earn an operating income of X dollars. Now let's say the question is in terms of revenue instead of number of units. So the question is, how much revenue 
should the company make in the next year in order to earn an operating income of X dollars. So how much revenue should the company make in the next year in order to earn an operating income of X dollars. Now we already obtained the formula Q is equal to target operating income plus the fixed cost divided by unit selling price minus the unit variable cost. This can also be written as target operating income plus the fixed cost divided by the unit contribution margin because selling price minus the variable cost is the contribution margin. So this is R and this is Q. Now we know that total revenue is equal to quantity multiplied by the unit selling price. So let's multiply both the sides of this equation by P. So we get Q multiplied by P is equal to target operating income plus the fixed cost divided by unit contribution margin multiplied by P. So this is total revenue and we can write the expression as unit contribution margin divided by P. So we are bringing this P down here and this expression here unit contribution margin divided by the unit selling price is also known as the contribution margin ratio or the contribution margin percent. So or total revenue is equal to the target operating income plus fixed cost divided by the contribution margin ratio or the percent. So this is how you can use the formulas to find out the number of units to be sold or the total revenue to be attained in order to achieve a targeted operating income. Now let's find out how we can use the graphical method to achieve the same information. Now in the video for break even point using graphical method, we had seen a graph of dollars versus units sold. So we had units sold on the x axis and dollars on the y axis. Then we had a fixed cost which was a horizontal line. So this is fixed cost. We had a line representing the total cost and another line representing the total revenues. And this point here is representing the break-even point in terms of units sold and dollar amount. Now depending on the number of units sold we can find the operating income by finding this distance here between the line for total revenue and the line for total cost. So this gap represents the operating income. So as you can see this graph is not very helpful in answering the question how many units should be sold to earn an operating income of X dollars. And why is that so? It is so because the operating income is the difference between these two lines. And it is not easy to determine the point at which the difference between the total revenue and the total cost is going to be X dollars. So what we can do is that we convert this graph into a profit volume graph or a PV graph. So 
So let's see how this graph can help us answering the questions that we want to be answered. So let me draw the x and the y axis of the graph. Now the x axis represents the units sold while the y axis represents the operating income. Now let's take a hypothetical case just to understand this example easily. So the fixed cost is assumed to be $2000. The unit variable cost is $120 and the unit selling price is assumed to be $200. So this is a point of zero and let's say this is representing a loss of $1000 and this point here is representing a loss of $2000. This point here represents $1000. $2,000 and $3,000 and on the x-axis we have the units sold so let's say 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 and so on. So now we need at least two points to draw the PV line. So let's take one point as the point where this line will intercept on the y-axis or in other terms we'll take the point where the number of units sold is zero and if the number of units sold is zero and we are assuming that if we are not selling anything we are not manufacturing anything our variable cost is also zero however since we have the building cost or the fixed cost the only cost is the fixed cost that we have to incur. So our operating income is the total revenue minus the total cost. So total revenue is zero because we are not selling anything. And total cost is fixed cost plus the variable cost. And we said that the variable cost is also zero because we are not manufacturing anything. So this is equal to minus F and minus F is minus $2,000. So one of the points is this point here. Now the second point can be the break even point where the operating income is zero. That means the point at which this line will intercept the X axis. So the operating income is zero. We'll use the same formula. So zero is equal to the total revenue, which is Q multiplied by P. Q is the number of units sold and P is the unit selling price minus the fixed cost and minus the variable cost which is Q multiplied by C which is the unit variable cost. And we have kept operating income as zero because at break even point the operating income is zero as it is a point of no profit no loss. So let's now substitute these values in this equation. So 0 is equal to Q, which we want to find out, multiply P, which is 200, minus 2000, minus Q, multiply by C, which is 120. So or let's bring the terms with Q on one side and the numbers on the other side. So 2000 comes on the other side, it becomes positive. So Q and we can take Q as common. So 200 minus 120 is equal to 2000 or 200 minus 120 is 80. 80 Q is equal to 2000 or Q is equal to. So this zero gets canceled with this zero. Eight, one's are eight, eight two's are 16. So 4 carry over, 8, 5 is a 40. So Q is 25 units. So this is the break even point, which is here. 
So using these two points, we can now draw the profit volume line, which is this line here. So this is the PV line. So now we can use this line in order to find out the number of units to be sold in order to earn a targeted operating income. So let's say we want to earn a target operating income of $1,500. So from this point here, which represents $1,500 of operating income, we can draw a line which touches the PV line and then we can go down and we can get the number of units to be sold. Now again, this graph is not to scale, so it is not accurate, but this is how you can get the number of units to be sold based on the targeted operating income.